Some people think you have an attitude problem, Beckett. Really? Who thinks that? I do. The onset of the COVID-19 pandemic has had profound impacts in all spheres of human life. While other industries have been pushed to the wall, the animation industry has been showing a positive growth. How has the pandemic affected the animation industry? Joining me in this conversation is freelance animator and graduate of Van Arts Canada, Matthias Jujo. So, uh, Mr. Jujo, my first question to you is, in India, and I'm sure across many parts of the world, the film industry has taken a backseat during this pandemic. How has this pandemic affected the animation industry? Well, I'd say um, the animation industry has had a good wave of projects coming in because of the pandemic, because everyone is seated at homes and they have their home screening things and all that, Netflix, Prime Video and all that. Um, animation series, uh, mostly, per name, say, uh, they, they have gone forward. So, and the animation, animators have also been sent home and they're working on their own computers and, and computers sent by the studio. So they have their own space. So we are all, uh, like I say, we are all more creative now, much more creative than in the studio atmosphere. So I'd say it's been going forward. It's, it's a good, uh, good way. Yeah. So as an animator, can you tell us one or two things that you've been doing differently since the arrival of this pandemic, since the advent of the pandemic? Uh, well, I've been, I, I have a lot of time to work on my projects now. So, um, when, before the pandemic, I was just limited to one or two projects, which my school would have said, or the, you know, the studio that I was working in would have said, but now it's like, I have their projects as well. But now that I'm sitting at home, I have all the more time to do my, uh, to work on my stuff as well. So. So you're saying uh, that you can uh, you have time to focus on multiple projects at the same time? Yeah, basically. Uh, I must ask you this. What is the process of making an animated clip? So do you get an idea first and discuss with others? What, what all goes in that? Um, so I'm, I'm not talking about like a studio perspective, but for you as an individual, as a, as a freelance animator, how do you, from, from the time you get an idea to the end product, what is the process? Well, it's just uh, like, you know, uh, whatever a person goes through while making a film as well. So uh, I jot down all my ideas on a piece of paper. I draw out the storyboards. I just check how it should look. And then I do a rough pass on, on my software. And if all works, then I'd go for the final animation as well. So you just do it uh, step by step, basically. So are there situations where you face a mind block, you, you reach a position where you think that you can't develop this further and you just, just uh, desert the project altogether, work on other projects? Well, well, all the mind blocking phase, all those blocked phases will be in the storyboard or in the idea set or in the idea phase, because it we wouldn't be able to, or I personally wouldn't be able to afford it mid animation uh, or to go through my, uh, through a mind block mid animation. So. Uh, I'd finish all my mind blocks, everything during the idea phase. I'll have an answer to every question that can or that might pop out. And then I'd make sure that people can't find a loophole where they can ask a question in here. So, uh, yeah, basically all the mind blocks are done or dealt with in the first phase. I would like to also ask you about your assessment or your comments about the Indian animation industry. As we know, it's, it's on a comparative scale to the United States or the most of the countries in Europe or, or Canada, the Indian animation industry is not at that far. So why do you think that is the case? Is it because the Indian animation industry as such is not taken uh, seriously? Is it because we have very less investments? Is it because we lack talent? What, what, what do you think is the reason that we are not at that level? And there are many factors playing into uh, this, this concept, when, especially when you see the Indian animation industry, because as of now, it is still in its baby form. So, uh, and not many people know about a thing called animation. And even, even if you say the word cartoon to, to some people, uh, they would say, what is it? Well, like, they, they wouldn't understand what it is. But on a, on a positive note, if you say, uh, if you ask someone if they know who Chota Beam is, then they'd say, oh yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's the thing where all the drawings come to life. So I say animation industry is on the right path now. But, um, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask India to do anything out of the norm to, you know, make the process faster. And I don't think there is any faster process to it. And whoever, I mean, who, whatever animator we have in India, 
I think that most of them are self-taught, basically. Uh, they, they, they've learned animation through YouTube or some other websites like that. So even though they know how to make animations, they don't know why they're following those certain rules or certain methods. So if, if, you know, if it is a possibility, I'd ask all the animators to, you know, just uh, learn wh why or how they can animate in a more proper way. And if, if they do so, uh, yeah, India can go uh, two times faster. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Matthews, for taking time to speak with us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. You don't want any part of this.